Hello, ladies and gentlemen, everyone in between and beyond. My name is Taylor, and welcome to the brand new atmospheric horror game, Shift 87. Now, Shift 87 is available on Steam. I will have a link to the description down below. But for full disclosure, I did receive a code uh, from the publisher, Datalik Entertainment, through Press Engine. So thank you to Press Engine and Datalik for the code. As per usual, I will not let that affect my review of the game. Now, with all that being said, I did not play very much of this game as what I received was a demo code, and I didn't want to go too far in because it feels like one of those things you have to experience for yourself. So, as you're seeing on screen, uh, I did not do a live reaction because I'm not one of those people who just, you know, can hop on a camera and just, like, play a game and comment on it as I'm doing it. I need to think things through. I need to do things, and I can't multitask like that. So... Apologies for this post-commentary, but that's what you're going to get. Now, Shift 87's an interesting one. So, as far as I understand it, you're starting at this brand new company, and the whole idea is you go through different environments looking for anomalies. It's basically the most deadly game of spot the difference you've ever seen. Uh, but what's really interesting is that these anomalies don't come in you know, like small forms. They're not usually, oh, this plant is out of place, or oh, this small thing is happening. Like, these are typically noticeable things. Like, I've had instances of the fire alarm going off and suddenly the sprinklers are just filling the whole thing with water. Uh, there have been ones where, when I looked through a window, the world outside was literally moving as we were on a train. Uh, there have been other instances where there was a giant eyeball in the projector, or the guy wasn't sitting at his desk, he was standing there covered in post-it notes staring at you. And then... That was just, like, the first few levels, which was basically the tutorial area. From there, you move on to a bit of a warehouse-type environment, which is really what got me, I'm not gonna lie. I... I do okay with horror. It's not my preferred genre, like, if I had a choice between an action movie and a horror movie, it's usually kind of like a 70-30 towards the action movie. Uh, but I still like horror, I still enjoy horror, and I respect it. I don't usually play a whole lot of horror games because I do find them a little more imposing, and I will not lie, I did play this kind of early in the morning uh, with headphones on, wife was still asleep, so I didn't have too many lights on just to kind of help create that environment. And it, <laughs> it genuinely scared me, and I'm not, I'm not proud to admit that. Uh, but anyway, going through this warehouse environment, you know, there was a couple things I noticed like, oh, this conveyor belt isn't pumping out the TVs anymore, or just small things, until I get to this one section that... Uh, I will definitely leave in the video where the lights were flickering and, you know, the the music isn't really, you know, it's not very much in your face, but it's always there. And that's why I wanted headphones just for that more atmospheric kind of feeling like I'm in there. It's just, it's almost a low, subtle drone, but it's always there creating that that tension that anticipation that something's going to happen and for some reason i don't know why i genuinely jumped when this happened to me uh i turned the corner the lights were flashing as is usual and there were just these moving covered statue mannequin things i was just like for some reason it freaked me out like i'm normally fine with statues or mannequins or things like that it's normally like dolls and clowns that give me more of the the heebie-jeebies as it were, but my skin was crawling going through this area. And I'll leave in, in the video, uh, there was a brief moment where I had to just like put the controller down and just take a breath because I was covered in goosebumps. I was like, this is, this is not okay. Um, but it was really interesting because I have not had that reaction to a game in a long time. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I only played about 20 minutes in this, A, because I didn't want to show absolutely everything that was in the demo. I highly recommend you experience it for yourself and kind of get that feeling. And I didn't want to take that experience away from you. And B, I was genuinely scared. Like, I'm not going to lie. I'm not trying to hype up the video. No, I was actually scared. Uh, so congratulations to the developer on this one. You've made a terrifying game. Now, I hate, like genuinely with a passion, hate walking sims because yes, there can be amazing storytelling in it. But to me, there's no gameplay. There's no value in it for some reason i was like you know what let me check out this game and yes it is a walking sim at the end of the day but it's one that made me feel not like i cared but like genuinely scared and the fact that it could get a rise out of me at all was incredible so if nothing else if you take nothing else away from this video 
understand, I hate walking sims normally, but I actually really like this one, and it genuinely terrified me. And I don't know if I want to finish it. Like, there's only six achievements. I don't know if I want to get the rest of them, because I'm just that worried about going back to it. I even tried to play it, you know, without recording it, uh, with having a second video on my second monitor, where that was the main focus. But it's just the atmosphere, even without listening to that music, was just really off-putting. Not in a, like not in a bad way, but in like a God, do I want to do this kind of way? So it was just a super real, like interesting little experience that I do highly recommend you check out. So I unfortunately do not know the price of the game at the time of its recording, as it does not release until July twenty fourth. So uh, the link will be in the description down below. You can by all means wishlist it when this video goes up and hopefully pick it up when the video comes out. And hopefully pick it up when the game comes out full release. Now, they have said in the description that there is only going to be the three environments. The office, the uh, warehouse, and then the third environment, which I will not spoil for you. Uh, but there will be a total of 66 different anomalies among them. And those anomalies are randomly generated. So, I can't speak to how long... Uh, you would get out of this game, but if you are interested in that kind of atmospheric horror, in finding every little thing the developers have put in there, I think it'd be worth, you know, 10 15 even $20, depending on how much you value that experience, because I can easily see you getting one to two, maybe three if you're pushing it, hours out of this. Uh, but if you're not into that kind of, you know, more compact, more impactful kind of experience as opposed to, you know, a full, proper 20, 30 hour game. Completely understandable. But again, I feel like this is absolutely worth, say, 20 bucks, drop it, spend a night, freak yourself out trying to find this stuff. And hey, maybe you don't have the same reaction I did. I'm not a brave person. I'm not someone who can just, you know, do stuff like this. I'm like, oh, whatever. Uh, so yeah, it's by no means my preferred style of game, but I still really enjoyed it. And I think I'll be, I'll be remembering this one for a while. So one more time, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, everyone in between and beyond, so much for being here. Thank you to Datalik Entertainment and to Press Engine for giving me the code. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.